Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams argued that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a good foundation in America going forward. However, during an interview with Express, he admitted that he believes Prince Harry relies heavily on his wife Meghan for mental support. The pair have admitted to wanting to move to the U.S. and step away as working royals due to their difficult time period as a couple in the eye of the press in the U.K. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, "As far as the future is concerned, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are on firmer ground. She understands Hollywood, and they are based where she has a large number of friends and connections. Prince Harry also has good relations with the Obamas." The Sussexes appear very happy together, and they are backing very similar issues. There is no question emotionally he appears to rely on Meghan a great deal, as he has been very open on questions of mental health. There is also the question of privacy. They need to bring up their son Archie, and I am sure they will ensure that as best they can. Despite the attempt at a fresh start, as Harry is not U.S. born like his wife Meghan, he will have take steps to ensure he can stay in the U.S. Following a TV appearance with Meghan Markle earlier this week, fans were quick to pick up on a phrase used by the Duke that hinted he may eventually become a U.S. citizen. In the clip, Meghan and Harry insisted on the importance of voting in the upcoming U.S. presidential election and the need to combat negativity. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle are embarrassing themselves. National Review columnist says. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are embarrassing themselves in the wake of their move to the U.S., their Netflix deal, and their advocacy. National Review columnist Madeline Kearns opined. Specifically, she claimed that the pair have an insatiable hunger for power. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not retreated into a quiet life of relative obscurity after resigning as senior members of the royal family and moving across the Atlantic Ocean, first to Canada and later to Santa Barbara, California. They have continued to advocate for causes that they believe in. They've inked a multi-year contract to produce content for Netflix, and perhaps most tellingly, last week appeared in a video in which they encouraged Americans to vote. Although it bears noting that they didn't reference any candidate or issue specifically, to Kearns, that last bit was a thinly veiled endorsement of Joe Biden. She juxtaposed the endorsement of a political candidate with the rules under which they previously lived, imposed by the British monarchy, in which they were to stay out of politics at all costs. She compared their actions to a hypothetical scenario in which an American couple were to reject their former rules in favor of something that is diametrically opposite. What the couple have done here is rather like the Kushners, Ivanka having converted to Judaism in order to marry Jared, suddenly revoking their religion, publicly breaking every rule in the book, then moving off to join a hippie colony. It's very unseemly, shall we say? Kearns wrote. Kearns then went on to the couple's advocacy for climate change and social justice issues in the light of their own personal wealth and privilege. In particular, she noted that the Sussexes spent about three million dollars of British taxpayer money to renovate their Frogmore Cottage estate, and then used other public monies to jet set around the world. Further, she wrote that the pair fed the homeless around Vancouver, making sure the cameras were rolling while they did so. And then went on to spend 14.7 million dollars on a Southern California home and penning a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix. Do Meghan Markle and Prince Harry actually want to be stripped of their titles? The speed with which Harry has gone from being the most relatable member of the royal family to someone who appears intent on not only rejecting everything the institution stands for but doing his utmost to undermine it is astonishing. It had already become clear. Even before he met Meghan, that the prince was struggling to find his feet as a royal, he harbored a lot of pent-up resentment, not only towards the constraints of the institution itself, but also towards his family for the way his mother had been treated. I don't think it was any coincidence that he chose as his bride a woman who was always going to struggle with the restrictions of monarchy. Meghan was never going to put up with that kind of life. That was abundantly clear right from the start to anyone with eyes in their head. This way, he gets to find freedom and sock it to the institution, which it is increasingly apparent he despises. Meghan Markle's latest appearance shows off her favorite candle and a memory of her wedding.
The prevalence of Zoom meetings means getting an unprecedented look inside celebrity homes, and royal fans understandably are clamoring for a peek into Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new Santa Barbara home. In a new virtual appearance, the Duchess of Sussex did give fans a glimpse into her brand new living room, showing off a sweet tribute to her royal wedding day behind her. It might not seem that unexpected for someone to have a candle in their living room, but this isn't just any ordinary candle. Aside from being a longtime favorite brand of Markle's, fan site Meghan's Mirror notes that she showed them off prominently on display in her home before she became a royal on her now defunct Instagram page. The luxe Parisian perfumery brand played an important role during her 2018 wedding. Not only did Deptique confirm that Markle lit the candles in her dressing room as she was getting ready to walk down the aisle, according to InStyle, but the couple also lit the candles and room sprays both in St. George's Chapel during the ceremony and during their reception, no doubt setting a romantic and elegantly scented mood. Markle is known to be a fan of several of Deptique's scents, so if you want to create a little regal ambiance in your own abode, you can definitely shop the line yourself. Though the small scented candles will set you back $36, a little bit of royal luxury might just be the ticket if you're spending tons of extra time in your space these days.